welcome back to my channel, K the PA. Now, this week my background looks a little weird and everything, but you know, we're gonna work with it. I'm like working in like a tiny space, um, but I'll go back to my normal setup next week. But I wanna talk about the dangers of working the night shift. I did a video um, a couple months ago and people kept asking me like, about the cancer and you know how can you get cancer working on the night shift and I just want to clarify that because um, some people were like kind of scared about it so I just want to like clarify what I meant by that but I just want to put out there put this um, disclaimer that I mean I'm not a doctor not a researcher PA scientist whatever um, this is just strictly, you know, based on what I've researched and just things that I know from working on the night shift. So don't sit here and like take my advice on all this stuff, like always do your research and I'll always be sure to put links below um, so you can like click on different articles and read up on some of this stuff yourself okay so hi right, guys so the first danger of working the night shift is that it completely throws off your circadian rhythm and your circadian rhythm is basically your body's natural alarm clock it tells your body when to get up and when to go to sleep and really like your body knows that based on if there's light outside or if it's dark so if it's dark your body's saying go to sleep but you're going against your body because you know you're up at night working instead of sleeping and you know during the day you're supposed to be up and doing stuff but you're like no i'm gonna be sleeping during the day so you're really going against nature and you know when you go against nature that can never lead to anything good so another danger of working on the night shift is that it disturbs your sleep pattern so you know if you work at night you know that when you get home from work you know, you try your best to fall asleep, but you may not sleep for, you know, your full eight hours. You may sleep, you know, two, three, four hours. Um, some people don't even go to sleep um, until way later, especially if you have kids. That's even harder because, you know, you got to take them to daycare or take them to school and you probably won't sleep till like way hours later. Um, so definitely messes up your sleep cycle. Um, like personally when I'm at home I usually stay up the whole night because like my body is just like used to it at this point so I'm up like you know like an old lady like you know those old people that get up at like four or five in the morning that's me now <laughs> so you know I definitely don't get like that full eight hours of sleep on like a normal day because my body's just not used to it and you will just get like cat naps during the day so after work, I may get like three, four hours of sleep and then I'll wake up. And you know, people don't respect when you work at night. You know, they'll call you and expect you to be up during the day because they're up during the day. But um, I'll get like a couple of hours and I'll go back to sleep. And then like when I wake up, I just feel like a zombie. So, um, you know, you'll probably be having like naps on and off throughout the day. So definitely... Another danger of working the night shift is that certain hormones that, you know, and chemicals that are supposed to be produced when you sleep at night are not produced. So this is like one of the side effects of that circadian rhythm being thrown off is that certain chemicals and hormones are not produced like they're supposed to. And some of these hormones prevent um, cancer cells from forming. So that's what you guys, you know, been um, asking me about in my other video how can you get cancer from working the night shift um, you can get cancer heart disease high blood pressure diabetes um, obesity like you, your metabolism is going to be thrown off so you're more likely to be um, obese working the night shift uh, but as far as um, being more susceptible to cancer your body produces a hormone called melatonin and this hormone is produced when you're sleeping and when it's dark. So I don't know if you guys had biology or not, but they talked about light and dark reactions and how certain things are produced in the cells at nighttime and, you know, certain things are produced during the daytime. So that's the same thing as um, cancer preventing cells. 
um, and like melatonin, it prevents certain cancer cells from forming. And it only works at nighttime when you're sleeping. So if you're up at nighttime, you're not producing um, the same rate of melatonin as if you work during the day shift when you're like sleeping at night. Um, I don't, hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying, but um, I'll put a link below so you can read up on it. But basically you're working against nature and nature is saying, okay, when I'm sleeping at night, I'm going to produce certain chemicals, um, certain hormones. I'm going to like regenerate certain cells and like really protect the body from like cancer and all these other um, health like toxins. But when you're up at night, your body's not working with nature, okay? It's working against nature. So um, you don't have that same effect as if you worked on the day shift. The thing that can happen when you work the night shift is that it puts you at a greater risk of making medical errors. So when you're working the night shift, you know, you get super sleepy because, I mean, Sometimes I'm up 12 hours before the shift even start, you know, because sometimes it's hard for me to fall back asleep. Like I'll wake up at 5 a.m. and I can't fall asleep during the day. So I'm like at, at 6.45 when I'm supposed to be working, I'm already tired. So, you know, you're, you're already tired. And then when it comes to like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., you're like super sleepy. Like, it's hard to stay awake. And then it's cold at night. Oh my gosh, that makes it even worse. So, you can definitely make more errors. Um, and there's research that backs this up. Um, so, definitely, like, you know, that's a big issue in, in healthcare because, I mean, you don't want to give the patient um, the wrong dosage and put the wrong information in but I mean sometimes it's inevitable because you're basically working against nature. Alright so the last thing that I want to mention is that when you work the night shift you can become vitamin D deficient. So basically you can get vitamin D from certain foods like milk but that's not enough. You know, you need to actually go in the sunlight to absorb that energy and get vitamin D from it. So when you're working at night, you're up at nighttime and then you're sleeping during the day. So you're not getting that sunlight exposure that you're supposed to. I mean, it happened to me a couple of months ago. You know, I went to do my labs and everything um, at the, the doctor's office and she told me that my vitamin D level was really low. And she prescribed like a, I think 5,000 milligram of um, vitamin D and that's a lot. So make sure that, you know, you go to your doctor and you're getting your labs and everything and making sure that, you know, your vitamin D levels is where it's supposed to be. Um, I redid the whole process and it's like where it's supposed to be at this point, but just making sure that you know you're getting that sunlight exposure that's very very important also i want to mention that in my other video i talked about how you get paid more for working the night shift i'm not sure if they take into account um that you can like die <laughs> at a faster rate working the night shift um, from like different diseases and stuff i'm not sure if they take that into consideration I think maybe a big part of it is that nobody wants to work the night shift. Like most people will rather work during the day because, I mean, you can tell a big difference in how you feel working during the day compared to working at, at night. So maybe they take that into consideration. I'm not sure. But I think that they should because, you know, with all the dangers and risk, I think you should be at least compensated for that. Remember that you can always go to my website kthepa.com or kthepa.net and you can check out this article. I usually type up a transcript of everything that I talk about on my YouTube and put it on my website so that you can read it if you don't want to watch the video um, or if you're in class or whatever um, and you just want to scroll through and you know you can always check out my website. Alright you guys, that's it for this video. Those are the dangers of working the night shift. 
Um, it could expose you to so many different diseases and it's definitely not something that you should do long term because it really does have uh, an effect on your body. Um, I worked at night and I've worked the day shift and trust me like I feel different working at night than I do working during the day. Like when I worked during the day I felt very rested and my body didn't feel like it was hit by a semi truck <laughs> but working at night you know you have a different feeling because your body's out of whack and things just aren't how they're supposed to be so definitely consider day shift you know especially as you get older like personally i'll do night shift for now because i really do like it but you know like later on when i have kids and a family and all that stuff i'll definitely consider working the day shift um but thank you guys for watching this video i hope that it was informative for you and i hope i didn't scare you with the whole cancer thing that i talked about in my other video and definitely do your own research i'll put a couple of links below so you can just read up on this stuff on your own and once again i'm not a doctor this is not medical advice or anything it's just a conversation um that i thought would be interesting for my youtube um so yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, and I may talk about some of the ways you can get some really good sleep working on the night shift. So that may be my next video. All right, so stay tuned and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Every single day